Hare Krishna. Welcome back to video for the day. This is Sankarshan Das speaking to you from Austin, Texas. Today we're looking at text number 40 in chapter 5 of the Brahma Samhita. Yasha Prabha Bhavato Jagananda Koti Koti Shvasesa Vadadadi Vibhuti Pinam Tad Brahma Nishkalamananta Mashesha Bhutam Govindamadi Purusham Tamaham Vajami. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, whose effulgence is the source of the non differentiated Brahman mentioned in the Upanishads. Being differentiated to an infinity of glories of the mundane universe appears as the indivisible, infinite, limitless truth. This impersonal Brahman is the goal of the impersonalists. They want to merge into that impersonal Brahman. They think it's the supreme all in all. They don't realize it. it's simply the effulgence from the transcendental body of Sri Krishna. So if something is very wonderful, one may be very attracted to it, but if you can find the source of that wonderful thing, that's even more wonderful. You see. So Prabhupada explains that this realization and personal Arman realization is perfect realization of the absolute truth. And Paramatma realization is more perfect realization of the absolute truth. And Bhagavan realization, realization of the personality of God, it is the most perfect realization of the absolute truth. So we don't waste our time running after impersonal or modern realization, which takes millions of years, by the way. It's much quicker and easier to come to Bhagavan realization by becoming a devotee of Krishna. We don't waste our time trying to merge into Vibhan and giving up the, the uh, sense of identity, thinking that I have no identity. I am the Brahman, you see. We don't waste our time with these, these things. We go straight to the highest perfection of self-realization, Krishna consciousness. So we thank you all for tuning in. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank mm -hmm. you.